Hey guys, what's up? This is Al from It's Android World here for GeorgeShark.com with another Android app review for you guys of Chomp SMS by Chomp SMS. Now this is actually an extremely customizable SMS client for Android that allows you to send text messages and actually customize almost everything you see. It even comes with a widget and tons of different settings. So let's take a look. Alright guys, so there we have the icon itself. You see it's just actually two little chat bubbles and we can launch open the app. And here we are. Now, one of the biggest unfortunate things about this application, which I think is completely and utterly ridiculous, is that there's ads. And there's ads, and you know, sometimes ads aren't bad, but the thing is, it's right on top of your list, and the ads are on an SMS application. And this is something that, if you start to use an SMS app, it's daily. And to have ads just all over the place, it's really annoying. But let's go ahead and take a look at the experience itself. As you can see, again, there's the ads, and here are all your conversations. So when I go into a new message, I get the pretty decent experience. Um, you get to add two, and I can tap the plus button here. And this is where I can add any contacts. So I'm just going to hide some of the numbers. You see, it's just a list of contacts. So going back, here we are. And this is where I can just tap down here and actually compose the message and send it off. What's cool is it lets you know how many messages you've sent how many characters you have remaining before it splits the message up into two separate messages. So pretty nice experience there. We're going to go back and really, you know, that's about it for the SMS side. But the big thing about this application are the settings and the customization. So I can tap menu, you can see I can look at the change log, which shows me the different things that they've added to the application since day one. Tapping menu again, I can delete all my threads. I can compose a new message, and if I have any unread messages, I can mark all as read, and if again, I can speak all my unread, so that's really cool. We're going to go into settings here, and as you can see, this goes versions. Now, you can donate to them, and that'll get rid of ads, but you have to donate at least $3. And again, to just get rid of ads for $3, again, not worth it, so I just stick with the stock SMS app. So anywhere here, you can see where you get the SMS and MMS network, Chomp SMS credits, and then here is one of the things that I like, the notification settings. So if I turn notifications on, I can have the repeat notification on. During a phone call, I can have a notification. I can change my notification icon, have the icon count out. I can change the ringtone, the vibrate, the vibrate pattern, the um, LED light. I can make the screen come on. I can put privacy on so where people won't see it. I can show a ticker and here's a test notification. You see there's the actual notification there and a little pop-up. So, Pretty cool there. Turn that back off. Actually, I'm going to turn it on for a second. Go back. And um, here's another feature, the quick reply and compose. Really cool. So when you, when you have a locked screen, you can turn that on. And what this does is actually gives you a pop-up when you get a text message. And when you get it, you can reply to the text or close it right from the pop-up, right from your locked screen. So you never have to go into anything. You just get the little pop-up, and it works extremely, extremely well. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for now. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the customization of this because it is ridiculous. So going to the customized look, you can customize the list, which is where your conversations are. As you can see, it actually shows you. And if you haven't seen that in a while, that's the stock Android OS 1.0 application drawer. But this is where you get to customize the background. You can change the color. You can add an image. So for example, if I go into image and I go into my gallery real quick and I find a quick image like so and I click it, there I have it, and I can actually crop the image, hit save, saves the picture, and now my list will actually look like that. So, I mean, it's extensive when it comes to customization. You can change the contact font and the font color, the message font and the font color, the date font and the font color. You can even change the divider color, and that's just the list. You can also customize the conversation with the exact same settings, um, which is again really cool. You can change the background. So if there's anything memorable to you, you can just put it. And every time you're sending a text message, it's right there. You can even download custom font pa packs. You can show smiley images, show contact photos, always show time timestamp. You can show the conversation count. I mean, there's just so much customization. It's ridiculous. Then there's the templates, the security and blacklisting, and the miscellaneous, like the shortcuts and the keyboard and speeching, all that different things. But it really is a nice SMS application. Just the fact that it's ads everywhere is a really, really annoyance. But it's very customiza uh, customizable and a great SMS client. All right, guys. So you heard me say it in the video. I think this is the best SMS client for Android, but I don't use it solely due to those ads. And that is... I mean, they should put a donate version in the market that if they want to donate, then they can give it, you know, they can donate. But forcing people to pay $3 just to get rid of ads is pretty sketchy to me. I, I don't really like that feature. But other than that, it is very customizable. And 
once we get some of this customization into some other SMS apps, we'll be good. Other than that, that's my Android app review of Trump SMS. I'm Al from It's Androids World. So make sure you guys check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash It's Androids World. And I'll see you guys in my next drawchart.com Android app review.